Coffee Break Spanish Lesson 1 Buenos dias, how you do? We got something for you A bit of Spanish you can try It's not hard, now don't you cry Mas cerveza, por favor Un cafecito, I want more No haggis here, I hope that's fine Just a bit of Espanol online Coffee Break Espanol You're in control Just be resilient One in Spanish is dead brilliant Just be prepared Mark and Kara will take you there Now you're on a roll Buenos días a todos. ¿Qué tal estamos? Hola. You're listening to Coffee Break Spanish. The show which brings you language learning with your latte. Yo me llamo Mark. My name is Mark and I'm the teacher on this course. Y yo soy Cara. I'm Cara and I'm learning with you and hundreds of thousands of other listeners around the world. With Coffee Break Spanish, you'll pick up the language gradually by listening to our weekly lessons. In today's show, you'll learn how to say hello and ask people how they're feeling. So, Cara, are you ready to begin? ¿Estás lista? If you're ready, say, estoy lista. Estoy lista. Now, the first thing that you have to do if you're learning a language is obviously say hello to someone. You want to meet people, you want to get to know them, and saying hello is one of the most important things that you need to learn. So let's learn how to say hello in Spanish. It's very straightforward. You say, hola. 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 Now, when I say a word and Cara repeats it, you should try to repeat it along with Cara because that means you're going to be practicing your pronunciation. Remember, don't worry about who's looking at you or who's listening to you. Just try to repeat it along with us. So, hello. Hola. 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 Now, having said hello to someone, you probably want to ask them how they are. In Spanish, to do this, you say, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? It means, how are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? You can combine it with, hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? So, that's all very well, asking the question. You need to be able to say some answers. There are lots of different things you can answer to, ¿qué tal? We're going to stick with a few for the time being. The first one that we're going to learn is bien. Bien. Bien means well or good. So, bien. Bien. If I ask you then, ¿qué tal? And you want to say that you're well, how would you say that? Bien. ¿Qué tal? Bien. ¿Qué tal? Bien. 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 So, if I've asked you, ¿qué tal? And you've answered, bien. What would be a nice way to continue the conversation? To ask you how you're feeling. Exactly. So how would you do that? ¿Qué tal? Bien. Now, I think learning a language is all about communicating, putting your meaning over to the person that you're speaking to. So if you've answered bien, that's fantastic. They will understand that you're well. But you could add some other things to how you're saying this and you could say, well, thank you. The word for thank you in Spanish is gracias. 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 Now, it's maybe worth mentioning a couple of things here. First of all, you heard us say gracias there. And you may well be familiar with a slightly different version of that word, gracias. Depending on which Spanish-speaking country you're familiar with, there are different accents and some words are said slightly differently. We're going to be concentrating on the Spanish that's spoken in mainland Spain. But the words and phrases that we use would be understood anywhere in the Spanish-speaking world. So we'll stick to gracias for the time being. Gracias. Gracias. Let's put it together in a short conversation. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien, gracias. ¿Qué tal? Bien, gracias. There you go. That's your first Spanish conversation. Let's try it again. This time, you have got to do all the answering. I'll ask the question. We'll give you some time to answer, and then you can repeat. Here goes. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bien, gracias. ¿Qué tal? Bien, gracias. 
Hopefully you remembered to ask me how I was feeling there as well, just as Cara did. So we've got hola, que tal, bien, gracias. Four words and phrases that you already know. If you coped with that, you'll cope with anything that we cover in Coffee Break Spanish. We're going to continue now with the phrase for very well. It's okay being well, but it's nice to be able to vary your answer as well. The phrase for very well is muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay, now this is quite a tricky word to say, this muy. If you imagine what a cow does. Moo. Moo, yeah. <laughs> so Spanish cows would say moo. Moo. And then at the end, smile. E. E. Muy. Muy. That's it. Perfect. So if you've ever been in Spain and been driving past a field full of cows, you'll notice that they're all very, very happy and smiling away to themselves. Muy. Muy. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. So, Cara, ¿qué tal? Muy bien. Gracias. ¿Qué tal? Muy bien. Gracias. But not all Spanish cows, or indeed Spanish people, are constantly happy. Sometimes they're not feeling so good at all. If this is one of those days when things just aren't going very well, you could say fatal. 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 So, if I ask, ¿qué tal? Fatal. 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 It looks, when it's written, it looks like fatal. So things must be pretty bad if they're fatal. 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 And you've got to say it with some emotion in your voice. Fatal. Fatal. ¿Qué tal? Fatal. ¿Qué tal? Fatal. Okay, let's run through these again. We're going to say we're well, bien, bien, very well, muy bien, muy bien, and really pretty lousy, fatal, fatal, excelente. I'm going to be saying excelente and muy bien as you repeat things. So that will give you more practice in listening to words like muy all the time. Okay, we're going to add in another phrase. So far, when I ask ¿qué tal? Cara has been responding. Bien, muy bien, fatal. Okay, one of these things. And then when Cara asked me how I was feeling, she used the phrase ¿qué tal? Again. But there's a different way of saying this. You could actually just say and you. Listen to this. ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? That's it. Now watch your pronunciation of the Spanish U, ¿y tú? Y tú. Y tú. Y tú. So let's use that in our conversation now. Hola, cara. ¿Qué tal? Bien, gracias. Y tú. Bien, gracias. Okay, let's try a different one. This time, Cara's not going to be feeling so well, okay? Hola, cara. ¿Qué tal? Fatal. ¿Y tú? Yo, muy bien. Gracias. I added in another word there. I said, yo. Yo is the Spanish word for I. So, I am very well. Yo, muy bien. As far as I'm concerned, I'm very well. Yo, muy bien. Yo, muy bien. Or you could say, yo, bien. Yo, bien. Or, yo, fatal. Yo, fatal. <laughs> Excelente. Vamos a repetir un poco. We're going to repeat a little. So, let's take all the words that we've done so far and repeat them together. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Bien. Bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Fatal. Fatal. ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? Gracias. Gracias. Now, there are two other Spanish words that we're going to add in as possible responses to the question, ¿Qué tal? These are, first of all, ¡Estupendo! ¡Estupendo! Now, you can probably work out what this means, ¡Estupendo! ¡Estupendo! 
Now, estupendo literally means stupendous. We wouldn't perhaps say stupendous in English to, in the answer to how are you? It's stupendous. Um, but it's definitely said in Spanish. Estupendo. Estupendo. And one final one, and that is fenomenal. 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 Another word that sounds quite like an English word, phenomenal, but say it in Spanish, fenomenal. Fenomenal. One thing that I'm going to say right now, and that is if you come across a word that sounds like a word that you know in English, don't pronounce it in English. If we have a conversation, sounds very Spanish here, hola, ¿qué tal? Yo muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué tal? Phenomenal. No, phenomenal sounds ridiculous there, so say it in Spanish. Fenomenal. Fenomenal. Okay, we've learned lots in today's podcast. Let's repeat it all together so that you can really get everything into your head before we finish off. Again, I'll say the words. We'll give you some time to repeat and then Cara will say them and repeat again with Cara if you can. Hola. Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Bien. Bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Fatal. Fatal. Estupendo. Estupendo. Fenomenal. Fenomenal. We also learned y tú. Y tú. Gracias. Gracias. Coffee break. Coffee break so, how was that? Hopefully, you've found today's lesson useful. It wasn't too difficult. Of course, the great thing about learning by podcast is that you can always listen again, wherever and whenever you want. And you can also download our bonus materials to help you make the most of your learning. That's right. Simply go to mycoffeebreakspanish.com and there you will find a huge range of resources linked to the Coffee Break Spanish course, including downloadable lesson guides, enhanced podcasts for your iPod and additional materials linked to each lesson. If you've found today's show a little too easy, then we will be learning lots more in the coming weeks. Indeed, if you want to make quicker progress, then you can download the entire course at mycoffeebreakspanish.com. We'll be back again next time with more Coffee Break Spanish. In the meantime, muchas gracias y hasta la próxima. Adiós. Hundreds of thousands of listeners across the world have learned to speak Spanish with Coffee Break Spanish. The idea of the course is that by listening to our weekly lessons, you'll develop your confidence in the language. You can listen at home, in the car, at the gym, wherever and whenever you want. If you would like to make progress more quickly, you can access Level 1, that's Lessons 1 to 40, and Level 2, Lessons 41 to 80, right now, and benefit from our membership programme, which gives you access to lesson guides, explaining the words and phrases taught in each show, bonus listening materials, helping you to improve your Spanish even more, and much more content linked directly to the show. Visit mycoffeebreakspanish.com to find out more. This podcast was brought to you by the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at www.radiolingua.com.